Rappers who have let themselves go. The answers, man. You ain't got the answers. You ain't got the answers. You ain't got the answers, Sway. Do you want to win any of these items on your screen? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like, and comment the hidden message. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. When it comes to the rap game, staying in top form is essential. But what top form is can mean many different things to many different people. And sometimes a struggle to stay in that top form drives the artist to do many dumb things, both physically and mentally, sometimes costing them everything. So be sure to like the video and watch the entire video to enter the giveaway. Number six, Eminem. For sure is we're glad that you can even discuss it so openly because that by itself is something personal and you're able to open up to your fans about the addiction. Eminem's life has been chronicled many times over the last two decades, as it was in the 2000s that he made his presence known to the rap world. And to be fair, Eminem is most definitely in better health in 2019, and of course that wasn't always the case. In fact, he was very far from it. There was a really low point in his life where he not only let himself go in terms of body weight, he almost let himself go in terms of life. So let's rewind back to 2000-2010 when Eminem was the most popular and best-selling musical artist in the world. And if you don't believe me, check it out on the internet. The sales and the awards, they just speak for themselves. But as fame and power often do, they press you to do bad things. The stress of making music along with having a stressful relationship with his long time girlfriend led to Eminem starting to eat excessively, meaning not in a very healthy way. Which is interesting because of one of Eminem's defining features was that he was very skinny, but not for long. Eminem was in such a state that he would go to McDonald's where he frequently visited so much that people knew him by his name, and they would get his order ready before he had even ordered it. That must mean that he must have made a ton of visits. It even got so bad that people thought that they recognized him, but then turned around and said, Eminem ain't fat. This hit Eminem very hard, and the transformations he went through because of this were numerous and long-lasting. Then the substance misuse, also so the result of stress almost took his life. Period in your life. Well, the crazy part about that clip, and I don't know if people believe me when I say this, but I don't remember being here. It was here that he realized he needed to do things better. He went and got healthier, refused drugs, and worked hard to get his life back in order. While it's not 100% better, he's had some issues over the years, but he's bounced back strong from them. He himself physically is. He's been sober for 10 years, which is quite an accomplishment. And let Eminem be a lesson that even if you do let yourself go, he still can come back and come back strong. In fact, some of Eminem's best albums and songs came from after he pulled himself back from the brink. Though to be clear, he had some major struggles in his recovery, the event and not from the album. The biggest one being that he went from being hooked on food and substances to being hooked on exercise. He had a treadmill and an exercise bike in his house that he would go on for hours until he felt healthy, which of course is not recommended, but thankfully he got out of that addiction too. So as you can see, Eminem has dealt with a lot over the years. He's proven that you can take hits and truly get back up. You may not think of him as a role model because of his music, but his recovery and thoughts on life now are pretty inspirational. Number five, Drake. My kid, they had to add like the deadbeat thing to make it more appealing, which is fine. And I understand that. And I, even that, I was like, okay. But you didn't see this one coming, did you? Drake is one of the most famous and legendary rappers in the world today. He's one of the most beloved rappers by fans, and his music is constantly breaking records on the charts. And he's also a very passionate Toronto Raptors fan, the team in the NBA who just won the title for the first time. So if you look at him and think, how has he let himself go? <laughs> he looks fine. And it's true. Physically, he's in really good condition. His friends and family would attest to that. But mentally, well, well, Drake's got one big flaw, his temper. Yeah, when Drake mentally lets himself go and flies off the handle, yeah. It's honestly not so pretty, and there are plenty of examples of this happening to him over the years. For example, there was a period of time where he was dating a fellow rapper and star Rihanna. If you know her history, then you know her most infamous relationship was with Chris Brown. It wasn't kind of in any way, shape, or form when you get right down to it. After a big separation that spilled all over the news, Drake dated her, and Chris Brown tried to play it off coolly by talking to Drake at a nightclub, saying that there were no hard feelings. Yeah, you can see where this is going, right? Drake didn't want to hear anything from Chris Brown. He said some not-so-nice things about Brown, Brown threw a jab, and Drake threw one back. And the brawl was on. It was one that caused quite a media stir, even though the details about what exactly happened never emerged. The two even did a mocking of the fight during a skip once on the ESPYs, but still, it happened. Before you try to say that one event doesn't prove intent, you need to slow down a bit. Another time at another nightclub, his crew was insulted, and Drake personally went after people who did the insulting. And after being taken out of the club, he threw thousands of dollars at the bouncer in order to let him back in, because he wanted the people who were talking and smack. You might call this passion and loyalty to his friends, but it's clear that this was some deep-rooted anger that he was letting out. Oh, but it's not the end there. Last year, during his time watching the Raptors, they had a match against the Washington Wizards, and when they did, he got into a shouting match with the player, Kendrick Perkins. This shouting match got so intense that he had to be separated from him by both teams.
and then he went and followed them back into the locker room area to talk some more smack. That's what he call unrelenting folks. Would you believe that's still not all? Because if you look into the music of Drake, you'll notice that there are a lot of disses and stabs at other people at times. Drake has been in many feuds over the years and with a variety of rappers. And when he has felt personally insulted, he didn't hesitate to let loose on some disses on those who gave it to him. Kanye West, Kendrick Lamar, Pusha T, and many more have fought Drake lyrically. And Drake has always fought back, and sometimes incredibly hard. There's one feud though that actually went on for years before it was even resolved. So as you can see, Drake is never afraid to defend himself, and that's fine to an extent. But the truth is that he's had a hard time controlling that temper. And that gets him to a lot of trouble. Now sure, objectively nothing he's done so far has got him in jail, but sometimes timing is a key part of having a temper. And if he goes off the wrong time, he could end up there. Number 4. Cardi B Did lipo, right? And I sucked out all my fat and tighten up my skin. You don't think my bones are showing even more? Cardi B is a very interesting woman, and I mean that literally. She started out from the bottom as a dancer and worked very hard to get her first hit Bodak Yellow out, which lost her into superstardom. And anyone who knows Cardi B knows that she takes great pride in her figure, and she aims to be the best looking woman on the planet, which is all fine and good, until you start to betray part of what you believe and suffer the consequences because of it. And that's exactly what she did. And she's still feeling the ramifications of that choice. Despite her desire to be the best looking person on the planet, she did do something that it's kind of put that in jeopardy. She got pregnant. And to be clear, it's not a bad thing to get pregnant. It's just that Cardi B didn't expect it to happen when it did happen. And she and her husband did have a baby last year, and the girl's name is Culture. And as noted, it wasn't a planned child. In fact, Cardi B is on the record saying that she freaked out when she found out that she was pregnant, because she's not even 30. And she's in the prime of her career, and now she has to take care of a child. There was a point where she felt her career could possibly be over because of her having a child. Despite those thoughts, though, she made it through, and with her husband's encouragement, not only had the baby, but is back now in Cardi B form. Or at least, that's what we all thought. Cardi B truly loves her body, and as she noted in the past, she's never had plastic surgery on it, which was true at the time. The only thing she's changed, in fact, was her teeth, because she had a few crooked teeth, and she wanted a beautiful smile, and $40,000 later, she had that. Which for her wasn't a beauty thing per se, but a mental thing, as she's been made fun of because of her teeth in the past. But after her pregnancy, she started to have doubts about her body, so she decided to break what she said and got some plastic surgery, including alterations to her chest and liposuction. So you know the basic Hollywood package. Now to be fair, having plastic surgery was her choice and she had every right to make it, but she didn't rest the required amount of time that it takes for her body to heal after said surgeries. Now, she's in physical pain and has fear that her body might be falling apart, so she had to cancel a recent concert appearance and take a few weeks off to fix herself. I'm sure that's hard to picture or imagine, so Cardi B actually decided to show what was going on with her body, and one social media post, she revealed her feet were in so much pain that they literally had ballooned so many times over their natural size. So why did she put herself through this? Simple, she wanted the money. She has said as much as herself that she hates losing money, so she went into the concerts regardless of the pain. Except they got too much for her and she had to take the time off to heal as a result. The irony though is that if she had just stuck to her word, she wouldn't have had plastic surgery at all and thus wouldn't be going through all this pain. But she felt ugly when she certainly wasn't, like many other celebrities, and did far too much to herself. Number 3. Kanye West Hey, good morning Kanye. Shut the if we're being totally honest here, Kanye is the king of letting himself go both mentally and somewhat physically, and most definitely financially. He used to be one of the most dominant rappers of his time, and then he fell very hard and started to bring a lot of haters against him. And then he made a great comeback with power and got back into the spotlight. But as of 2018 and 2019 has shown, Kanye West has fallen heavily into mental instability, and he honestly has himself to blame for part of this. This is a guy who went on a near 100 tweet rant about Drake, his life, and those who threaten his family, the songs that he's made and doesn't apologize for and much more. This is a guy who scared the entire gaming community when he found out that legendary creator Hideo Kojima was in New York and tried to find out where he was, for reasons that no one really knows, and we're probably better for not knowing anyway. Still not enough for you? This is a guy who created one of the most explicit songs ever, and I love it, and still have one of the oddest music videos to boot with it. And not to mention he wears clothes that clearly doesn't fit him, and apparently is spending more money than he makes, to the extent that he asked Mark freaking Zuckerberg to help him out financially so that he can make what he loves. And then of course there is his bipolar disorder, which he openly admits that he has, but doesn't take the medicine that he needs to help him combat his condition because it messes with his flow. At least look into neurofeedback, that's something good. Even his wife Kim is fed up with much of his antics, and not to mention the world at large. So when you see Kanye trending on Twitter, you know that he's likely done something incredibly outlandish. And when you think that he's done acting up, he'll shock the world with his last deal. He's unrelenting in his presence, he's eye rolling in his acts, and if he can't get himself together, there won't be anything left for him to let go. Number 2. 6 9 
rapper and a gang member who recently pled guilty to nine felonies and is facing 47 years in prison. For the record, I have no remorse or pity about putting 6ix9ine on this list because the king of New York deserved what has happened to him and what might still happen to him today. So you might be wondering, what happened? Well, it's pretty simple. In November of 2018, he was arrested for various serious acts by the FBI. Several of these charges were major felonies and some of them carried the potential for life in prison. And to be clear, 6ix9ine did these things that he was charged with. He later took a plea deal in order to get out of a 47 year plus jail sentence that he was facing because of these charges, which goes to show that he is indeed not as tough as a guy as he preached out to be, and many are noting how this will change his image once he gets out of jail. That is, if he gets out. Now to be fair, physically speaking, 6 9 arguably hasn't been better. He's known to be more toned in prison, likely because he was working out in the yard, but that doesn't change the fact that his ego for the crime and being bigger than other people led him to doing these crimes, both on his own and as a part of various groups. He is the cause of his own problems, and his fear of prison led him to taking a plea deal, which has now made him an outcast of the rap world. And he deserves to be called that. Number one, ASAP Rocky. Go this way. My friend. Go this way. You know? Go this way. You know? Go this way. Listen, listen. We don't want to shot. We're not trying to go to one of the recent stories going on in the rap world is the arrest and incarceration of ASAP Rocky by the Swedish police. Rocky was a rapper doing a tour and a concert in the country when some fans decided to accost him and his entourage. A fight broke out and those fans were hurt as a result, which led to the arrest of ASAP Rocky and some of his crew. Though getting arrested is definitely one form of letting yourself go, the struggles that Rocky was facing was only just starting, because not only was he detained in Sweden, he was also put into solitary confinement, which tends to have an interesting effect on a person's mind if you get my drift, but even worse than that. The prison that Rocky was put into was not exactly nice to the prisoners. Granted, there's a certain level of animosity that is done to prisoners because of who they are, but fair treatment is required in prisons, but not here apparently, because all Rocky got to eat for two weeks was apparently an apple. Just an apple. All day. Do you see why this is bad? So by the time he got seen by a US appointed official after much dragging of the feet on the Swedish part, it was clear that ASAP Rocky wasn't in picture perfect health, and it could get even worse so they detain him even longer, and keeping doing his regimen to him. This is a bit of a complex situation here, because on one hand, there's no denying that he did play a part in getting himself arrested, but on the other hand, there's clearly misuse of power going on here, and it's affecting his health physically and mentally, which deserves immediate sympathy. The rap community is actually trying to rally people to get him free because they see this as a massive miscarriage of justice. Technically, they're not wrong. Whether this actually happens, though, is obviously up for debate, especially since this judgment won't come to the US, but from Sweden. And so there you have it, everyone. A look at many rappers who have let themselves go in a variety of ways. Which rappers are you the most surprised about in regards to their conditions? Should another rapper be on the list? Let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on King Trending. A simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Go for it.